and gentlemen, to another broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. If you could just bear with me for a few minutes, I got a very important message. The age-old story. This this question has been asked for that two thousand years. The question is, if the Jewish people are God's chosen people, which they are. Do you mean to tell me that a righteous Jewish person? that died in a concentration camp that didn't believe in Jesus went to hell? Well, I'm fixing to answer that question for the Lord has put this in my heart. The answer is no. A Jewish person is sanctified by the future Jewish people that will see Christ and weep and accept the Messiah. Case in, case in point, it's the same philosophy, it's the same philosophy as this. It's the same philosophy as this. Corinthians 7.14 For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband, else were your children unclean, but now they are clean. What that is saying is, is if you have an unbelieving wife and a believing husband, the unbelieving wife that doesn't believe in Jesus is sanctified by the believing husband so that unbelieving wife will make it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or if, the, if there's a, a, a believing wife and an unbelieving husband, the unbelieving husband will make it because he is sanctified by his wife. The same methodology for lack of better terms is true that the Jewish people do not believe in the Jewish Messiah Jesus is sanctified by the future Jewish people that will see Jesus coming in clouds of glory and they will weep and they are saint the unbelieving Jews now are sanctified just like the unbelieving wife and um and a believing husband or the believing husband and unbelieving wife are sanctified by the future Jewish people. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, I really do hope uh, you... you uh, okay. Uh, I will pour out on, on upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem in a spirit of grace and of supplications and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced. Who pierced them? The Jewish people pierce them. And they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in the, in the bitterness for his firstborn. So when the future Jewish people see Jesus coming in clouds of glory, they will mourn and feel awful that for generations... They didn't believe in a Jewish Messiah, but they will believe him. See, the Jewish people, the reason they, they didn't believe in Jesus 2,000 years ago, they didn't want a poor, humble, meek, uh, what seemed to be a, a, a weak uh, Messiah, poor carpenter. They didn't want that. They wanted a conquering king that will overthrow Rome and, and, and restore the kingdom to Israel. Well, Jesus didn't come like that, so they rejected him. But when Jesus comes back for the second coming, now there's a difference between the rapture and the second coming. The, this, the rapture, he comes for his people. The second coming, he comes with his people. When he comes with his people, he's, it, a sword going to proceed out of his mouth, a two-edged sword, and he's going to be a conquering king riding on a white stallion with wings. I know this sounds like a fairy tale, but you got to believe it. It's true. And when the Jews look at Jesus coming in clouds of glory, they're going to weep because they, they were saying our ancestors were wrong. Uh, the, we did crucify uh, our Jewish Messiah. Jesus Christ, Yeshua, is our Mashiach. And... They will weep and mourn, and they will accept Jesus as their Messiah. I got one more verse for you. Let's see if I can get it. 
Okay. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, the Jews, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. So when the Jews, that pierced Jesus 2,000 years ago, when they see Jesus coming in clouds of glory, they going to weep bitterly. They're going to break down and weep bitterly because they have rejected the Messiah and crucified him for 2,000 years. They have rejected him. So that group that weeps and sees Jesus, that accepts Jesus, the unbelieving Jews today are sanctified by the future believing of the future Jews that will see Jesus and believe Jesus. Now, one last thing. Let's go over again. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children unclean, but now they are made whole, holy. Uh, that's, it's the same philosophy that an unbelieving wife is saved by a believing husband, and an unbelieving husband is saved by the believing wife. It's the same law, God's law, about the, the, the past and the future and the present. Jews that reject Jesus as your Messiah are sanctified by the future Jews that will see Jesus and weep bitterly and repent that they crucified Jesus and accept Him. So, the answer is, if a, if a righteous Jew that is righteous, doesn't died in the concentration camp, but didn't accept Jesus, do they go to hell? The answer is absolutely no. Because they are sanctified by the future Jews that will see Jesus and believe. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. The, the Jews are sanctified by the future Jews that will see Jesus and weep. I hope you, I really do hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you. Because I'm trying to tell you with all my heart. The Jewish people are in fact God's chosen people. And they're Jesus' chosen people. Trust me on that. If you believe anything I've ever said in all these many, 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 many years with hundreds and hundreds of videos, thousands and thousands of passing out flyers, millions of doors, street corners, many churches, going across the world, you have to believe that the future, that the present and past Jewish people are sanctified by the future Jewish people that will see Jesus and weep bitterly and repent and accept the Lord Jesus Christ. The time is running short, people. The time is running very short. Let's get ready. Pick up your cross and witness in your community. Join with me and witness. You do not have to go to seminary. You do not have to go to Bible school. You just have to have the love of Jesus in your heart. Go. Don't fear rejection. I used to fear rejection. I don't know more. Go and preach in your community, people. The Lord's return is near. Amen.